The majestic Cuban royal palm abounds in the countryside. It is such a characteristic symbol of the scenery that it has become the emblematic representation of the country. El Vedado is a large, mostly residential neighborhood a few miles west of Old Havana, an area known for stunning mansions like this Greek revival home. The interior of this Cuban home shows classic Victorian furniture with oriental rug and lovely crochet. A quaint city scene in Old Havana with a cobblestone street with a well-dressed man and a policeman. This is the Grand Hotel Pasaje. The hotel was built in 1871 and was the first building built in the city specifically as a hotel. The hotel catered to Americans with rooms that were furnished in an American style. Here we have a bustling street scene in Havana with a man on his horse and cart going about his daily business. The Volanta is a common two-wheeled vehicle designed for use on backcountry roads, typically used by plantation owners. Tobacco workers show a diverse presence of people of color working in the fields, especially in Pinar del Rio province. The Cuban sugar economy is the principal agricultural product in Cuba, dating back as far as 1523. Production increased dramatically after the 1791 Haitian Revolution. This amazing photo shows agricultural workers collecting fodder pulled by two oxen and a man standing on top posing. The Rio Amandares runs through the western part of Cuba and through the city of Havana. It flows northwest into the Straits of Florida. These mounted cavalry are insurgents fighting for Cuban independence from Spain that ended with the Spanish-American War in 1898. This hilltop blockhouse was used in the Spanish-American War in 1898. The Port of Havana is a natural protected deep water port and a mooring site for vessels on their way back to Spain, also called the Gateway to Cuba.